In the previous video, you outlined your workflow's goal, the recurring steps to accomplish that goal, and your workflow's stakeholders. In this video, you'll learn the four steps to turning that understanding into an Airtable base where you can orchestrate that work with your stakeholders. Your workflow involves staying on top of a lot of information, project details, asset specs, approvals, and feedback. You've outlined all of the information for your workflow and organized it into lists. Now in Airtable, those lists will become tables in your base, each containing information of the same type. If you're a web agency, you might have a client table, a project table, and an asset table. Within each of those tables, you'll have records, which represent items in your list, a project, an asset, or a client. Now refer back to the information mapping from the previous video and create the tables that match your lists. You have your tables to hold the crucial information in your workflow. Now it's time to start tracking each list's detailed information using fields. Fields capture the details for each item in your list. You can pick from over 25 different field types so you can capture exactly what's needed for your workflow. Keep on top of crucial dates like deadlines using a date field. Add mood boards to your projects or any other relevant files using an attachment field. Use a single select field to create custom dropdowns to give your projects a status or any other tags. Refer back to your outline lists and add the fields for each piece of information used in your workflow. Your different lists may look separate, but in fact, they're deeply intertwined. For instance, your assets are related to projects, while different projects map to different clients. Understanding how your information is related is crucial to understanding where everything stands. In Airtable, linked record fields allow you to associate records across tables to say this client is related to these projects, where this asset was created for this project. Try creating the linked record fields for the connected information in your workflow. Your system is taking shape. You have tables, records, and relationships all in one place. And yet, not everything is relevant all of the time. It's important that you can quickly and efficiently get the information you need for your role in the workflow. In Airtable, you can customize what you see and how you see it using views. Create a project manager view by sorting projects by their due date, grouping them by their status, filtering out completed projects and hiding irrelevant fields. Create a designer view by showing only assets assigned to yourself due in the next few weeks. Views are simply different ways to look at your information. The underlying information is always there and changes made to records in one view will display everywhere else. Now create the views you need for your workflow. Create as many or as few as you need. Great work. You've taken the first steps in migrating your workflow into Airtable. In the next video, you'll learn some design best practices so you can be sure you've structured your base properly before involving your stakeholders.